This is not a video about how to play the accordion. This is a video about how the mechanism inside of here works, and particularly how the chord buttons work. Um, the accordion produces a sound through metal reeds. Now, this is just like on a harmonica, except on the accordion we've got two reeds per note because the reeds will only produce a sound with air flowing in one direction, and the accordion will produce the same note regardless of if you're opening or closing the bellows. So that's two different reeds sounding when I do that. Uh, the piano side of the accordion, I think, is fairly um, easy to think about what's going on here. So when we press a key, it lifts a valve over the block which has the reeds for that note in it. It gets a little bit more complicated in that we've got these uh, register keys here, which let us change the sound, change which reeds are being exposed. So we can change octave. <laughs> And we can also go for a tremolo effect. Uh, so I haven't actually taken that mechanism apart yet, but um, I think it's fairly, fairly easy to think about what might be going on inside of there. It's probably got two metal plates with holes in them that slide side to side, perhaps, and expose the different uh, reeds depending on what switches you've selected. Um, on the other side, We've, got, we've actually got two mechanisms here. So this accordion has 72 buttons. Some accordions have as many as 120. And the first two rows are the bass buttons. So these operate in a very similar way to the piano side, in that it's just one button opens a valve to a set of reeds. In the case of the bass buttons, the reeds are an octave apart to get a really thick bass sound. And these are arranged in a circle of fifths. Um, the next row along towards the middle is called the counter bass row, and these buttons operate the same valves and the same reeds as the bass row, except now they're arranged a major third above. And the reason we've got those is so that we can get to all of the bass buttons without having to move our hand too far up and down. Um, so. There are, of course, uh, 12 semitones in an octave. There are 12 bass buttons on this accordion, 12 counter bass, uh, counter bass buttons on this accordion. And so each bass button has basically a, a corresponding um, button that does the same thing. Uh, sometimes when you depress them, you can see that the corresponding button also, also depresses slightly. I'm not sure that's going to appear on the video, but um, it's not too hard to think about what moment be going on in there. They're not directly linked together, but uh, they're pressing on the same mechanism which is exposing the valve. Um, the rest of the buttons are the chord buttons, and this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated because each, each bass note has four chords available to it. So here's a C. We've got four chords available which are major, minor, dominant seventh, and diminished seventh. So, in the case of C, the major chord is, of course, C, E, G, and the minor chord is C, E, flat, G. Uh, so that's clearly got two of the same notes sounding to it. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be practical to give every single chord button its own set of reeds. Uh, you'd, you'd have hundreds, and as I say, some accordions have even more buttons than this. Um, in fact, the entirety of the chord mechanism only uses 12 valves, and reads behind them. Um, when you press one of these chord buttons, it selects a particular set of valves to open. And uh, when I first got this accordion, I was very curious as to how that mechanism worked. Um, this isn't a particularly expensive accordion. I mean, I bought this from a charity shop, but even so, this would be an entry-level accordion. And the mechanism, uh, well, it's probably invented uh, over a hundred years ago, I don't know. Um, but it can't be a particularly complicated mechanism. And when I tried to look it up online, how it works, uh, there was very little information about it, which means it probably isn't even a notable invention. And yet, um, trying to think about how that worked, um, I've, I was just drawing a blank. So, let's take it apart and see how it works. Here's a close-up of the bass and counter bass rows. So you can see that they depress together but it's actually only gravity that's holding it up. So they're not directly linked. And this is only really visible with the accordion on its back. 
First step is to remove the bellows, and to do that we need to pull out these metal pins that hold it in place. And to do that I'm going to be using these brass jawed pliers so that we don't scratch anything. So here are the reeds, um, each one is in a pair with uh, one reed on the outside, one reed on the inside with a little flap to control whether it's on the uh, expanding or contracting of the bellows. Um, you can see the little scratches are where it's been tuned because uh, they tune it by filing away a small amount from the top or the bottom. And the very lowest notes have extra metal on them, extra little weights. It's funny how some of these flaps don't seem to cover the hole entirely. Uh, but I never dream of trying to fiddle with that because uh, as soon as you start adjusting things, it will all go out of tune. So this is it. We're going to take it apart further than this, but this is the only point where we can see the whole mechanism in action. At the back there are the valves. Oh, some of them opening there. Just see that. And there's 12 on this row, another 12 behind the main mechanism. So each button has a vertical metal part connected to it that it presses down on. And along that vertical part there are these brass tabs. And behind here we've got 12 axles. Each one has a series of pins sticking out of it and the brass parts push down on the pins. Then there are further pins sticking out of those axles that push down on other vertical parts which ultimately are connected to the valves. This particular button is causing three of the axles to rotate which means that three valves are opening. If we just look at this one, this valve, we look very carefully. Just there is the brass tab that belongs to that valve which is being pushed down by this pin. The rest of the pins on this axle are just to be pushed by buttons. So here are the valves connected to the reeds on that side. And the lower ones are used for the cords, as we just saw. So they just pivot open. And they're also rigged to the ones above. So these are the bass notes. And each bass note also opens the octave above it. Here is the main mechanism in isolation. I'm holding it upside down because 
it all tends to flop apart when you don't have the spring-loaded valves pressing against it. So that's the chord section. And on the back we've got the bass section, which is essentially the same thing, a bit simpler this time. But it's got another 12 axles, and each bass note and counter bass note rotates an axle. Doesn't, doesn't work quite so well when it's not spring-loaded. So really look at that one. That's, that's the bass note, that's the valve it's opening. And then see, there's also a counter bass over here, which operates the same valve. So I think that's a, a very elegant mechanical solution. While we're at it, I thought we might as well take a look at the right hand side of the accordion. Some of the screws do have glue on them, which suggests that the alignment is critical, but I think we can see everything we need to from here. There are 34 keys, and behind each valve that the key leads to, there are three holes, and behind each hole there are two reeds. If we look behind the valve, we can see the three holes, and as I press the register keys, different parts open and close. And if I press it very slowly, you can see that the it's definitely a lateral motion, so something is sliding behind there. The sliding parts are moved by these three pivots, which rotate as I press the register keys. And the selection of which pivots to rotate is done by this mechanism, which are uh, three layers here, move side to side. Each of the register keys on this edge has a part sticking out, a little lever, which contacts uh, an L-shaped piece which moves it through 90 degrees, and this little brass tab sticking out of there then shifts the sheet left to right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and to finish off, here is some super slow motion footage of the metal reeds inside a melodica.